Uh, today we're heading along the south coast for about an hour and a half to a place called Neha N E R J A So we come down to the balcony, uh, this area jutting out over the sea. And I don't know whether you can hear it in the background, but there's loads of parakeets. You can just hear them, they're so noisy. I feel in a very totally <laughs> tropical place. It feels like we're in the Amazon or something. <laughs> and uh, I'll try and film those for you guys in a minute. But it's a beautiful place. The sea is crystal clear blue. Um, there's views in all directions, up, the, up and down the coastline with the mountains in the background. Looks absolutely beautiful and a pigeon just <laughs> nearly took our head off. <laughs> Outtake. Uh, <laughs> Outtake. Um, and it's lovely, there are uh, musicians playing Spanish music for the tourists. <laughs> and it's a very busy town. There's a lot of tourists about, even yeah. out, of, out of season, there's still loads of people around. Um, uh, but it's got a great atmosphere. Um, there's a reason why it's so touristy, and that's because it is really so beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. So we're going to go and try and get Doris the drone up in the air. So we're walking to try and find a beach where we can do it. Just to show you guys how beautiful the balcony is with the mountains behind. So we're off exploring some side roads to try and get down to the beach. And uh, hopefully it's not too windy. It's a bit windy today, but um, all should be good. Look at this floor. It's oh, it's beautiful. amazing. As you walk through the town as well, you can see all these leather shops and you can smell it. And anyone who came to Spain as a child on holiday, you have this flashback of your um, holidays as children. Because the leather goods, they're loads and loads of stuff for you to buy as a tourist, but also just nice quality, just bits and pieces. It's not tacky at all. It's a lovely, lovely town. Um, loving it. Really, really tempting to buy things. There's no room in Trudy. So we've walked uh, probably for about 15 minutes down the coastline trying to find the beach to take, get Doris up, our drone. And I think all the beaches this side of the balcony must be private because we haven't managed to find a way down there yet. But we'll carry on looking. So we found the ideal beach we were trying to get to behind me to launch the drone, the right angle so that you can see uh, where we were. But unfortunately, it's a private beach. You can't get down there. So we're gonna head down the coast uh, a little bit further and see if we can find another one. So Chris and I have found a little beach. It's like a little secluded cove. And there are a few people sunbathing and relaxing. But we're going to send so Doris. Go. We're going to send Doris straight up really fast and hopefully not disturb anyone. But it's so beautiful. If the wind allows, we are going to get some excellent shots of this beautiful cove and area. So hold on to the seat of your pants. Absolutely cool here. Every time you go round a corner, there is another beautiful place. There's so much food, food everywhere. I'm everywhere. starving. Everywhere, and do you know what I like as well? I love the floor because it's not just like paved. 
They've got all these beautiful stone bits in the floor made with pebbles. It's beautiful, really nice. We have found the beach behind me, which is where the paella restaurant was that we saw online. So we're heading that way. <laughs> We've chosen this restaurant because it's been going for over 30 years and uh, they have a fire, uh, an open fire pit with a paella pan and they've got a big mixed paella for everybody. Um, Chris is going to have the paella and um, it's all mixed with seafood and different meats. Um, so I'm going to have something from the menu because I don't eat seafood. What's nice is it's not actually very often that you see the wood-fired paella you see behind me. It looks absolutely beautiful and I'm sure that it gets some of the flavour from the actual cooking process. Good job. <laughs> so what's going on there? It looks absolutely delicious. Wood-fired paella with prawns and chicken. I just can't wait to get stuck in. It's absolutely delicious and you can actually taste the smoke. No wonder this place has been going for 30 years. It's called Ayo, A-Y-O. And it's on a beach just uh, east of the main um, balcony that we were visiting earlier. Delicious, absolutely delicious. I've got chicken and chips, which sounds incredibly English. Except the, the chicken um, is cooked in like a sauce, if you see there. It's got like um, a stock soup, so it's really moist chicken. And he asked me if I wanted breast or leg, and I said leg. Um, and quite often you don't have brown meat in a chicken anymore. But this is obviously a free range because it's nice dark meat. It's just lovely. And like stewed carrots with it as well. It's huge portions. It's huge, huge. But we've just found out you can go up for seconds. <laughs> so the verdict. The plate tells it all. It was delicious, absolutely delicious. You have to come here. And how many plates did you have? I had two, because you can go up for a second plate at no charge. Or at least I think it's no charge. I'll let you know when I get the bill. <laughs> <laughs> and mine? Yep, ditto. It was absolutely delicious. I've got to be honest, I'm starting to go into a food coma. <laughs> Might need a siesta. <laughs> I could just stay here. I'm not sure whether there's a time limit. If I stay here, I could have dinner too. <laughs> anyway, we've had a fab day in Nera, looking around, and we are now heading down the coastline towards Malaga, where we're going to find somewhere to sleep tonight. So it's about an hour's drive. Let's go. We were just having so much fun listening to the radio that we just drove straight past the turn off that we were supposed to go. I'm gonna stop dancing and focus on the sat nav. Focus on the sat nav. We found a little spot by the beach and uh, it's nice, it's a nice spot. There's a little restaurant to bar thing down that side. Some people kite surfing behind me. It's quite windy and quite wavy. We're just debating on whether or not we should go into the sea. I'm chunky, I'm a chunky dunker. Oh, I, I, I did the chunky dunker swim. Let's do it. Let's and there's a shower on the beach, it's perfect. Perfect. Well, it was cold. It was freezing. In fact, the guy that was kite surfing actually uh, gave us a little clap of the hands. He laughed, actually, to be fair. I think he thought, mad English people jumping in the sea. It was, yeah, it was, to be fair, it was cold. <laughs> It was great fun though. I've got to be very honest. Very refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing. And now I don't need to have a shower in the van. Exactly, we've just showered on the beach. They've got showers on the beach as well. There Amazing. wasn't anybody else on the whole beach swimming, just for the record. Just walking, or there was one kite surfer coming in, but yeah. it was great fun. Must do it again. Ooh. Oh my God. Seriously? Woo, that was a bit close. I have reaction After of a ninja. Yeah. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Your 
riding shotgun. 